so far uh, we have discussed about encoders as well as decoders right so decoders means which is going to take n lines as input and it is going to produce 2 power n lines as output coming to the case of encoders it is going to take 2 power n lines as input and it is going to produce n lines as output right so if you are going to take any kind of a circuit if you are going to take any kind of circuit that can be a multiplexer or it can be a demultiplexer it can be a demultiplexer or whatever it may be encoder or decoder this four comes under combination circuits right so and also if you are going to take this for every example i mentioned one terminology called enabler what is the use of enabler which is meant for to switch on the circuit right so enable is meant for to switch on the circuit or to switch off the circuit i am going to simply use enable right so basically like if it is a kind of a combinational circuit you are going to have at the end there will be some kind of a line which is meant for enable if this line input is 1 the circuit is i can say that the circuit is going to be on and it is going to work as per the given requirement if the input is zero for the enable i can say that it is off and it is going to produce always output zero output zero right okay fine so means if i am saying that any kind of pin i can say that any kind of a pin can i call this as a pin pin means what one simple wire if i say that if i am going to take any kind of a pin any kind of pin here this pin can contains two values one is either 1 or it will be zero am i right any other values are you going to pass no right simply we can say that i can able to pass either logical one or i can able to pass logic zero right logic one means what simply i can call technically as high input logic zero means simply i can call it as low in low input when i am saying that it is logic high high i can say sometimes it will be called as or sometimes it will be called as off also when in terms of enable point right if it is going to say in terms of enable point i can say that it is on as well as off also right yes so basically uh, if you take this logic 1 and 0 these are generally classified as two types of we can technically call it as logic levels logic levels which means that if i say 1 it means it is high it is high if i say 0 it means it is simply a low simply a low so when you are going to follow this principle i can call this kind of levels are active high levels active high levels so means that so far whatever the circuits that we have constructed all we construct with the help of active high processor means when enabler is one your circuit is going to be activated am i right or not when enable is zero your circuit is going to be deactivated so if it is following the same principle i can call it as active high levels similarly the another possibility is there one is active low possibility which means that zero will be acted as high input one will be acted as low input i hope now now you understood right so means if i am going to define the circuit like this if i say the circuit the circuit is going to bubble up with like this bubble up with like this and if i am saying that this is enabler it means that i can call it as this circuit is following uh, bubble here actually if i am saying it is following active low what does the meaning of one when the circuit is going to get zero as input then only it will be act as a high otherwise it is going to act as a low okay na so simple term if i say act to low means if i am going to get zero as input it will be high one means i can say it is low right so basically when you are trying to study the concepts of product of the sums 
or sum of the products. In sum of the products, variable v I can be written as 1, variable v bar I can represent as 0. Whereas in product of the sums, v represent as 0, v bar represent as 1. I hope you remembered the earlier case, right? The same case here. So, so far whatever things that we have seen all will become under active high. It is like normal working procedure. The opposite case for it is, I can call it as active low. Active low. Okay, fine. So, guys, if I am going to say there is an kind of a device is there. There is one device called device 1 and there is one more device called device 2. Device 2, right? So, if device 1 is going to produce certain output, assume that device 1 is going to produce certain output and that output is going to be received by device 2. Device 2, I can call it as input to the device 2. If I am going to follow this procedure, so device 2 is going to take the input from the device 1, right. So here at this point, what will happen? Na? So when device 1 is producing some output to the device 2, device 2, middle there are certain kind of wires are there, yes or no? Yes. Now when it is passing the data, the data is going to be passed in the form of what? Either low voltage or high voltage. If I am saying it is low voltage, it means that it is having some meaning. It is having, if it is having high voltage, I can have, I can say it is having some meaning, right. So, if I am saying that a device 1, I can be classified as, it can be two levels. One is logic 0 level, another one is logic 1 level, logic 0 and logic 1. Okay. Similarly, here also logic 1 level and logic 0 level, right. So, the point here is when a particular device produces the output, when a particular device produces the output to other device, device 2, sometimes there is a chance of occurring some kind of calamities, am I right? So, calamities means it can, it may increase the power, power. Right, for example, some kind of pidugandam, right, some strike happened on the wire. What will happen? Is it going to produce the power or not? Yes, if power is going to produce, already some power is there and it will, it is going to add with new power. Then what will happen? Some extra more power is going to be get, right? That extra more power has to be handled by device 2, right? If it is unable to handle, what will happen? Otherwise, uh, device is going to be failure. So, you are going to get failure with the devices, right? So, that is what? So, you have to think how when you are going to device uh, will be alive, right? So, when you are going to send some certain uh, data from device 1 to device 2, sometimes there is any kind of calamities, there is a chance to increase the capacity or sometimes there is a chance to decrease the capacity also, right? If I say that there is any absorbers are there, if I place some absorbers, your current is going to be decreased decrease, so then you are going to get low current, you are going to get low current, right. So now, how your device is going to be work, that is what I would like to explain here, right. So when it is logic 1, when it is logic 1 and if it is produce some data, if it is produce certain data, when some extra power is added, power is added, what might be the possibility at the device to input, input power may be increased, am I right or not, power may be increased, why power may be increased, for example, here I have sent a power of size something like 0 0.9, 0 0.9, in midville some power is added that is 0 0.01 added, which means that which is more than 0 0.9 or not, more than 0 0.9, so I can say that my line may come here, this difference I can call it as high level noise margin, high level noise margin. So basically here uh, I need to introduce one terminology called noise immunity, noise immunity, right. What is the meaning of immunity? 
stays to stay strong against something right similarly if some noise is happened in the power some noise is happened in the power if it is a refrigerator how we are going to handle the noise some stabilizer kind of thing is there right which is going to control the fluctuations in the power right how we are going to get the fluctuations especially when rain comes at this basis fluctuations are going to be happen right so that is what i can call as a noise right so why you are going to make the some stabilizers there because to not to fail our actual tvs or some kind of devices right so that is the reason we need to know how your device is going to be acted on what power conditions your device is going to work perfectly right? that is the reason i am trying to introduce here the concept called noise margin sum noise margin right before noise margins what do you mean by noise immunity so noise immunity means how the circuit is going to handle its noises meaning that its ability to tolerate noises at the input level noises at the input level i can call it as noise immunity if i am going to get more power more power what will happen if i am going to get less power what will happen that i need to do right so to make uh, like analyze of this one we have to know the concept of noise margins see try to observe here logic one i mentioned with a separate box which means that it is high as 1 and low as 0 low as 0 and what does this box represent is 1 means it's always equal to 1 no it may not it may be some positive value above something like 0.7 or it may be according to the device type right because what will happen when i am trying to send the data from send the power from one location to another location there may be some kind of observers are there your power might be reduced power might be reduced at the time it is not equal to exactly one not equal to exactly one so that's why i can say that i am going to say high means it can be from the range of 0 0.7 to 1 it's like a kind of assumption number. it may be vary from uh, like device to device like that is the reason when you are going to put uh, take some wire when, when some wire is passing if you if you touch that sometimes it may be power right so konsar mik shock kuda avutundi but a shock wall manake em kaadu but it doesn't mean that there is no power there is a power if i am going to put the uh, lap uh, like charger for the mobile it can work right it means that there is power but there is no high power high power means what it is equal to 1 like normal power means it will be some range from around some 0 0.5 above right so that's why i can say that high means it's always from the range of 0 0.7 to 1 it's a kind of assumption so i can i can call here as voltage output side high voltage that is also above maximum i am taking a reference as voh maximum here i can represent as voltage output side high voltage at the minimum side okay sir similarly can write this one voltage output side low level maximum value similarly voltage output side low level minimum value minimum value so, so, so the same terminals i am going to write here vol minimum so this should be iir input this should be val minimum this should be maximum here it should be v i h max and this will be v i h minimum v h minimum now try to observe if i am trying to send some power from one device to another device because of something happened because something happened some power might be increased some power might be increased and it can be able to reach to this capacity it can be able to reach to this capacity right if it will be reached to this capacity i can represent this as v i h minimum v i h minimum and this can be represented as v o h minimum right? this is what i can call it as fluctuation level fluctuation level at this level your device can able to handle at this level your device can able to handle so that i can call it as high level noise margin which i can able to calculate as v i h minimum minus v o h minimum high level noise margin for example if more power is added more power is added 
your range is going to be beyond this one. Range is going to be beyond this one. At this time, what what a circuit is going to happen? Circuit is going to be broken down. Circuit is going to be broken down because it is going to have high voltage, right? Similarly, I am trying to produce a low voltage, but because of some reason, some reason, your I can represent like this, right? So here it may be increased. It may be increased. So this particular difference, I can call it as low level noise margin. So how can I write the low level noise margin? V input level max minus V output level. Okay, fine. So this is the concept of noise margin. means that at what is the range your device is going to be strong right if i am going to get uh, certain input actual my device capacity this one my device capacity this one even if i am going to increase some more capacity to from here to here my device is not going to have anything so that's the reason i am saying that it is noise margin so it can able to handle noises okay fine so basically If I are able to observe this kind of concepts, we are going to apply two kind of devices. One is a kind of like TTL devices. Another one is type can like transistor to transistor devices. Transistor to transistor devices, right? So, if I am going to take simple example, like for example, for the TTL devices, for the TTL devices. Your parameters will be like this. The parameter is. So what are the parameters here? V I H max, V I H min, V I L max, V I L min. Right? These are the parameters. So I am going to mention them. V O H, V O L. This should be minimum. And it is maximum. V I H minimum, V I L maximum. And Minimum voltage they are given, and maximum voltage they are giving. Right? So this will be two point four, and they haven't mentioned anything. And this will be zero point four. They haven't mentioned anything. Two point zero, nothing given, and nothing, and zero point eight, zero point eight. Right? So if you are able to observe, they mentioned the parameters how a particular device of TTL is working. now can you able to calculate can you able to calculate the maximum noise value i am trying to write maximum noise value maximum noise spike value that can be tolerate that can be tolerate at high level can you calculate what might be the answer similarly maximum noise spike value that can be tolerate at low level so what do you have to do simply we can you can use the formulas right so maximum noise spike at high level means what high level noise margin What is high level noise margin? V I H min. What is V I H min? Two point zero. What is V O H min? Two point four. Right? Which means it is zero point four. It is zero point four. Right? Similarly, what is the maximum noise value spike at that can be tolerated at low level? Now we are power is not in the negative, right? It's going to range from zero to one only. Right? Is So always you are going to repeat the anything in electricals in the range of from zero to one. We are going to have negative, right? So what is the maximum tolerance that can be applied at this particular level? So you can apply, right? V A L max minus V O L max. V A L max is what? Zero point eight. V O L max is zero point four. So that means it is also having zero point. Okay, fine. So this is the concept of. Nice margin sum. 